Today, I want to talk to you about something that has truly transformed my understanding of life and relationships, Neville Goddard's teaching on revision and forgiveness. I first encountered this concept in his book, Awakened Imagination, and it really struck me how something as simple as using our imagination could bring about profound changes in our lives. So, let's dive deep into this idea together. Neville begins by telling us that revision is one of the most important things we can do when we want to change something about ourselves. Imagine for a moment that you have a deep desire to become a better version of yourself. Perhaps you long to be kinder, more patient, or to let go of things that hurt you. We all have that desire, right? We all want to improve in some way, whether it's being a better friend, a better parent, or simply being happier and more at peace. Neville says that this desire for change is linked to the act of forgiveness. And forgiveness, in his view, isn't just about saying I'm sorry or I forgive you to someone who has wronged us. It's much deeper than that. Forgiveness, as he explains it, is about using your imagination to revise the events of the day, to relive those moments where things went wrong and imagine them as you wish they had been. This act of revision helps us release the negative emotions tied to those moments. And in doing so, we truly forgive, not just the other person, but ourselves too. Let me share with you a personal story to explain this better. A while back, I had an argument with a close friend. We were both under a lot of stress and things escalated quickly. Harsh words were exchanged and I went home feeling upset and guilty. I kept replaying the argument in my head, thinking about all the things I could have said differently, wishing I had handled the situation better. I'm sure we've all been there, stuck in that loop of regret, right? It's a terrible feeling. That's when I remembered Neville's teaching on revision. Before going to bed that night, I decided to try it. I closed my eyes and replayed the argument in my imagination, but this time I changed the story. Instead of for the harsh words, I imagined myself responding with kindness and understanding. I imagined my friend and I laughing, finding a solution together and walking away with smiles instead of frowns. I felt the peace and relief that this new version of events brought me. When I woke up the next morning, something amazing had happened. I no longer felt that knot of tension in my chest. The anger and guilt had disappeared. I wasn't holding on to those negative emotions anymore. And when I met my friend again, our conversation flowed easily, as if the argument had never happened. This was the power of revision in action. Neville teaches that every time we do this, every time we revise an event in our imagination as it should have happened, we are practicing the true art of forgiveness. We are not just letting go of the negative emotions from the event, but we are also being born again. We get a fresh start. Think of it as pressing the reset button on your day. By revising the past in your mind, you free yourself from its hold on you. You are no longer stuck in the pain, anger or regret that may have come from a bad experience. But it's important to understand that this process isn't about denying reality or pretending that nothing bad ever happens. Bad things happen and people make mistakes. That's life. Revision is about taking control of how we choose to respond to those events. Instead of being prisoners to our past experiences, revision allows us to change how we feel about those experiences. And that is a powerful shift. 
Let me give you another example. There was a time when I was working on a big project at my job. I had put a lot of time and effort into it. But during a meeting, my boss criticized the work. I felt crushed, embarrassed and angry. I wanted to defend myself, but I couldn't find the right words in the moment. I went home that day feeling defeated, replaying the scene in my head over and over again. It was eating me up inside. Then I remembered Neville's words. Man either goes forward to imagination or remains imprisoned in his senses. What he meant by this is that we have a choice. We can either stay stuck in our emotional reactions, imprisoned by what our senses are telling us, the embarrassment, the anger, or we can choose to use our imagination to move forward. I decided to try revision again. That night, I closed my eyes and imagined the meeting going differently. Instead of being criticized, I imagined my boss praising the work. I imagined feeling confident, strong and proud of what I had accomplished. I relived the meeting as if it had gone exactly the way I wanted it to. When I woke up the next day, I felt a new sense of calm and clarity. The hurt from the previous day was gone and I approached my work with renewed energy. Eventually, I was able to have a constructive conversation with my boss and the project turned out better than I had originally hoped. This is why Neville says, to go forward to imagination is to forgive. Forgiveness is the life of the imagination. When we forgive, when we revise the day in our minds, we breathe life into our imagination. We set ourselves free from the burden of carrying around negative emotions. And in doing so, we are better able to live our lives fully and happily. Neville also talks about how, without imagination, we remain trapped in our senses. In other words, trapped in the feelings and experiences of the physical world. If we only rely on what we can see, hear and feel in the moment, we miss out on the infinite possibilities that our imagination can offer. We become stuck, unable to move forward. But when we use our imagination to revise, we free ourselves from that trap. We give ourselves the power to change our experience of the past and, in doing so, change our experience of the present and the future. Now you might be thinking, but how can changing a memory in my mind really change anything in the real world? This is a valid question and it's something I wondered about too when I first came across Neville's teachings. But here's the thing. Our feelings and beliefs shape how we experience the world. When we carry negative emotions from the past, they affect how we think, how we act and how we respond to new situations. By using revision to release those emotions, we change our inner state. And when we change our inner state, the outer world begins to reflect that change. There's a beautiful story that illustrates this idea perfectly. It's about a woman who had a difficult relationship with her husband. They argued frequently and she often felt unloved and unappreciated. She decided to try revision, as Neville taught, and every night before going to bed, she would imagine her husband being kind and loving. She would relive the day but instead of focusing on the arguments, she would imagine moments of affection and understanding between them. Over time, something incredible happened. Her husband's behavior began to change. He became more attentive, more caring, and their relationship improved dramatically. The woman had revised her experience of their relationship in her mind. And this change in her inner world was reflected in her outer world. This is the magic of revision.
by imagining things as we wish they had been, we open the door for real change to happen in our lives. And this is why Neville says that revision is a way of being born again. Each time we forgive and revise, we give ourselves a new beginning. We are no longer bound by the mistakes or hurts of the past. We are free to move forward, to create a better version of ourselves and our lives. But revision isn't just about big, life-changing events. It can also be used for the small, everyday moments that shape our moods and attitudes. Think about those little things that can ruin your day. A rude comment from a stranger, a disagreement with a co-worker, or even just a stressful commute. These small frustrations can add up, weighing us down and making us feel tense and irritable. But through revision, we can release these little stresses before they take hold of us. For instance, I had a particularly tough day not too long ago. From the moment I woke up, things seemed to go wrong. I was late for an appointment, my coffee spilled, and I got stuck in traffic on the way to work. By the time I got home, I felt exhausted and frustrated. But instead of letting that feeling carry over into the next day, I decided to revise the events in my imagination. I replayed the day, but this time everything went smoothly. I imagined arriving at my appointment on time, enjoying a perfect cup of coffee and sailing through traffic with ease. This small act of revision helped me shift my mood completely. The frustration melted away and I went to bed feeling calm and peaceful. When I woke up the next morning, I was in a much better state of mind, ready to take on the day with a positive attitude. Neville Goddard's teaching on revision is more than just a tool for dealing with difficult situations. It's a way of life. It's a practice that helps us cultivate a mindset that is open, forgiving, and full of possibilities. Through the practice of revision, we become more resilient, more flexible, and more in control of how we respond to the ups and downs of life. When we make revision a regular part of our lives, we start to notice that things don't bother us as much as they used to. We are no longer weighed down by the small frustrations or big disappointments that once seemed to control us. Instead, we approach each day with a sense of peace and purpose because we know that we have the power to change our experience of the world. And this is the true essence of forgiveness. Neville often emphasizes that forgiveness is not just about forgiving others, it's about forgiving ourselves as well. When we revise our day in our imagination, we're not just rewriting interactions with others, we're also letting go of our own mistakes, our own regrets, and the things we wish we had done differently. This is crucial because, as much as we might want to change other people, the real change always starts within. The real work is in changing ourselves, I remember a time when I was really hard on myself for making a mistake at work. It wasn't a huge mistake, but it weighed heavily on me. I kept thinking about how I could have done things differently, how I should have been more careful. The more I thought about it, the worse I felt. But then I tried applying Neville's method of revision. That night, I imagined the situation again but this time, I imagined myself handling everything perfectly. I imagined feeling calm and confident, making the right decisions. I forgave myself for the mistake and embraced the new version of the event in my mind. The next day, I noticed a shift in how I felt about the situation. The weight of guilt and regret was gone. 
I was able to move forward without beating myself up over the past. This experience taught me that forgiveness, true forgiveness, means letting go of the past, whether it's about someone else's actions or our own, and revision is the key to making that happen. This brings us to another important point Neville makes. Without imagination, we remain trapped in our senses. Our senses, what we see, hear and feel, can be deceiving. They make us believe that the way things are is the way they will always be. But that's not true. We are not stuck in the circumstances we find ourselves in. Our reality is not fixed. Through the power of imagination, we can create new experiences, new possibilities and new outcomes. Think about it. How often have you felt limited by the things happening around you? Maybe you felt stuck in a difficult situation at work, in a strained relationship, or in a cycle of bad habits. It's easy to feel like there's no way out, like the things you see and experience every day are all there is. But Neville tells us that there's a way out through imagination. When we use our imagination, we step outside the limits of our senses. We stop being passive observers of life and become active creators. This is what Neville means when he says that to go forward to imagination is to forgive. When we imagine a better outcome, a revised version of the day, we are forgiving the past. We are letting go of the hold that negative events have on us. And in doing so, we are opening ourselves up to a new reality, one that is shaped by our desires and intentions rather than by the events of the past. The more I practice revision, the more I realize that this isn't just a technique for getting through bad days or difficult moments. It's a philosophy of life. It's a way of seeing the world that empowers us to take control of our own narrative. We don't have to be victims of circumstance. We don't have to accept things as they are. Through revision, we can change the way we experience life. And in doing so, we can change life itself. Now you might be wondering, how can imagining something different really change the outcome of real life events? It seems almost too simple, doesn't it? But here's the thing, our imagination is powerful. It's not just a place where we daydream or escape reality. It's a tool that shapes how we think, how we feel, and ultimately how we act in the world. When we use our imagination to revise the past, we are not just changing a memory. We are changing the energy and emotions we carry with us into the future. Let's go back to that story about my argument with a friend. Before I revised the event in my mind, I was carrying a lot of negative emotions, anger, frustration, hurt. Those emotions were affecting not only how I felt, but how I interacted with my friend and even how I saw myself. But after I revised the argument in my imagination, I no longer felt those heavy emotions. I felt lighter, more peaceful, and more open to reconciliation. And that change in my emotional state had a direct impact on how things unfolded in real life. My friend and I were able to move past the argument and reconnect because I had let go of the negative energy I was holding on to. This is the true power of revision. It allows us to release the emotional baggage that holds us back and in doing so opens up new possibilities for healing, growth and positive change. But it's important to note that revision is not a one-time fix, it's a practice. Just like any skill, it takes time and effort to develop. You might not see dramatic changes overnight but with consistency, you will begin to notice shifts in how you feel, how you respond to situations, 
and how events unfold in your life. The more you practice revision, the more natural it becomes and the more control you will have over your emotional well-being and your experience of life. In fact, one of the most beautiful things about revision is that it's something we can do every day. Every night before bed, we have the opportunity to look back on the day and revise it in our imagination. We can take the moments that didn't go the way we wanted, the arguments, the disappointments, the frustrations, and rewrite them in a way that brings us peace and closure. And in doing so, we prepare ourselves for a better tomorrow. So how do we begin? It's simple. At the end of each day, find a quiet space where you can sit or lie down comfortably. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths to relax. Then think back over the events of the day. Identify any moments that caused you stress, frustration or hurt. Once you have those moments in mind, start to imagine them differently. See the situation unfolding in a way that brings you peace, joy or satisfaction. Feel the emotions of the revised event as if it were real. Let yourself fully experience the new version of the day in your mind. As you practice this technique, you'll start to notice that your emotions and attitudes begin to shift. You'll feel more at ease, more forgiving and more open to the good things that life has to offer. And over time, you'll see these inner changes reflected in your outer world. Neville Goddard's teaching on revision and forgiveness is a powerful reminder that we are not powerless in the face of life's challenges. We have the ability to shape our experiences, not just by changing our external circumstances, but by changing how we perceive and respond to those circumstances. Through the simple yet profound act of revision, we can free ourselves from the past, embrace forgiveness, and move forward into a life filled with peace, possibility, and renewal. So, as you go forward from today, I encourage you to make revision a regular part of your life. Use your imagination to rewrite the story of your day and watch as your world transforms. Because every time you forgive through revision, you're born again. And with each new beginning, you get closer to the life you truly desire. Thank you.